Hello, camera, internet, and page. Um, I apologize in advance for the strange lighting. It's been a while. So, Paige and I have been extremely busy. I've had my musical and stuff. Paige has been trying to figure out a way to actually edit videos. Uh, and so this past weekend, Paige and I had a dance competition, and we have one every single weekend for the next three weeks. Then we're golden, and we can actually start making videos. But I don't have a lot of homework today, um, so I decided to film. I don't know what I'm going to edit, but um, it is Tuesday. March 25th, yeah, so that's when I'm filming this, don't know when I'm gonna edit. Uh, yeah, but today I wanted to tell everybody something about myself that's kind of funny but bad at the same time. I have something that is very common amongst teenage girls called vasovagal syndrome. It means I pass out really easily. Or what I like to tell people, I'm really good at being unconscious. It started last spring, and I was really, really, really super duper sick for a week. And one night I was feeling crazy nauseous, so I was sitting in my bathroom with a trash can in front of me, and I passed out. I personally don't like throwing up in like a toilet, because I don't like, I feel like I get more nauseous just sitting over it. So I was sitting on my toilet with the lid down with like a trash can in my lap and I fell back and lodged my head in between like the toilet and the wall next to my shower because it's like a really close space. I locked the door so I was unconscious and no one could get into the bathroom. My mom was in her bathroom which like it's like close but like it's like around a bend so it's set up weird and she heard the big noise so she called my name I didn't answer her so she ran over and started banging on the door I didn't answer I'm so she got my dad to unlock the door um, and she like rushed in and she woke me up and I was okay we went to the hospital and they just said like careful I think I, I, I threw up after too that was, that was fun second time it happened I was at confirmation class on a Sunday night like a month I hadn't eaten on a regular schedule that day. I ate, but the thing is I was working on a project with my friend, so I had like maybe, I think yogurt for breakfast, then nothing all day, then dinner. So when we were at confirmation, we were all sitting in our chairs, like regular chairs, so like it wasn't a desk or anything, so nothing to lean on. And that was the night my pastor decided to go into serious detail about crucifixion. For anyone that's afraid of that, I'm not gonna say a thing, because I can't even think about it. But the detail of it, like you, Jesus was hung on a cross, yes. You never hear the details about that. They were mad details and it made me so sick and I'm gonna stop talking about it now because ugh. So I started feeling that feeling before I passed out the first time and I was like, whoa, this is what I felt before it happened. I felt like nauseous, like throw uppy, and my stomach hurt and I felt like really hot in my head. And then I started feeling serious heat around here and everything kind of started going black and fuzzy around the thing, la 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 la, and then boom, I was down. Adults, people in my grade, people the grade below me. There was like 30 something people there, I think. They woke me up, they called 911 when I was out. I went and I laid on one of the couches. I left early. I want to say I went to the hospital again, but I want to say I don't. I feel like. I think I went later, like my mom scheduled something, like what, what the heck's wrong with the kid? That was when we found out I have the vasovagal, and he said it's very common among like young girls and everything, and just drink plenty of water, like a bunch of, like a bottle a day, and something salty. That wasn't enough. So I drank a bottle of water at school every day, and I had Cheez-Its every day. So a whole summer went by, I was totally fine, ninth grade comes along, yeah. November 1st, so I was in health, and my teacher played a video where um, you saw you saw people like shooting up, mm, mm. okay, I'm done. And my head turned, I was like, oh, no watching. And my head turned and everything. My, my teacher said, am I making anybody sick? I raised my hand and that's when I went down. Here's how this time was scarier. The first time, I had no idea what happened. I had never passed out before, it was completely new to me, and it's just, I felt like I was dreaming. 
So when I woke up, I was like, did I just, I passed out? My mom's like, you passed out, you passed out. I'm like, what, what? And when I woke up, there was like a ringing in my ears. And it was just kind of like a beep that's like waking me up. And it was, it was weird. Second time, when I woke up, I was like, oh God, I did it again. And I was a really, I was just like, oh, wow. Here's how the third time was scary. Like, instead of that dreamy state, I was aware, kind of, of what I was doing. So when I was unconscious, I was aware of, like, my arms punching. I was aware of this one going forward and this one going out. I was kind of aware of myself yelling. I was aware of my teacher's presence. I don't know where she was, but I know she was there. And so when I woke up, I still had the ringing, but it wasn't, like, the peaceful, like, slow wake up of, like, silent, like, dead silence. I was panting and I was like, what, what, like, I'm freaking out and my teacher told me I passed out and they called 911. I asked my teacher if I could go to the nurse. Imagine this, your student passes out, does some shaking, and I'll explain that in further detail in a minute, and when they wake up, they say, can I go to the nurse? It was a valid question, what? The ambulance came, they called my mom and everything, la la la, and the ambulance came, and it's just, apparently what they told me was, I seized, I had a seizure. Uh, yeah, so I get to the hospital, my parents come in, I'm fine. My mom tells me I looked so not myself. I was like, what is my life? They did a bunch of tests and all these things, I threw up, on, you know, yeah, and they told me it was not a seizure. It was called a syncopal convulsion. So it was not triggered by my brain like a seizure. It was because I passed out, I started convulsing. And when I was in the hospital, I was so done with myself. I wasn't worried for my safety. I was just kind of like, what is my life? I just passed out and seized in front of an entire classroom of people. When I checked my phone, the first person to, I got a text from is my friend from another high school. She was like, are you okay? I was like, what? How did you know this? And she was like, Alexa told me. Alexa's my friend that goes to my school and she heard about it. I'm like, what? So I started getting all these texts from people like, what happened? And I'm like, I'm fine. And I, I was literally texting my friends like, what is my life, LOL. And they're like, are you crazy? And I'm like, what? So yeah, that was fun. I just stayed in a hospital bed and um, watched Ridiculousness for like an hour or so. Oh, my poor mom. <laughs> and I went to the cardiologist for like the third time, I think, second or third time, I don't know. And she's like, all right, we gotta intensify this. Two water bottles a day, more electrolytes, saltier stuff every single day at the same time. I have cashews, raisins, and a Slim Jim. And that's what I do to make sure I'm not unconscious. Yay, story time with Julia. I knew I wanted to talk about that at some point and I decided, hey, why don't I make that one of my first vlogs after my About Me video? Why not? So yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed hearing my passing out story fun time stories. Neither of us will put, be putting anything up for like the next three weeks. After that, I have a video idea that I'm gonna do with my friends, Kelsey and Alexa. Kelsey being the first person that texted me in the hospital, and Alexa being the one that told her about it. Uh, yeah. Give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all the things, you know, what to do. Yeah. Paige, my message for you is baby kangaroo. Everyone else, subscribe, like, thumbs it up, do whatever. 